हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज़ अनंदिता झा एंड आई वेलकम यू टू द यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ डॉक्टर अमित्स बाय केमिस्ट्री टुडे वी आर गोन स्टडी अबाउट द फैक्टर्स विच आर अफेक्टिंग द ऑटो इम्यून डिजीज एज बाय द टाइटल इट्स क्वाइट क्लियर सो देर इज़ अ प्ले लिस्ट अवेलेबल ऑन द सेम यूट्यूब चैनल नेमली इम्यूनोलॉजी यू कैन गो एंड विजिट ऑल दोज मेक श्योर यू विजिटेड दोज प्ले लिस्ट और सीन दैट सो दैट द बेसिक कंसेप्ट शुड बी क्लियर so this is the i think second video for autoimmunity uh, the basics of autoimmunity has been cleared in the first video you can watch that so here uh, i will be discussing the factors which are affecting the autoimmune diseases so let's see basically there are three factors first is the genetic factor then comes the gender then third is the environmental factor one by one we will be seeing all these and we'll get some of the surprising results also so the first factor is the genetic factor so basically we are known that for any disease there is genetic predisposition uh for example a set of genes are there they are predisposed there are certain transcription factor that initiates their transcription then the replication uh, the, then their uh translation and the resultant protein would result in disease causing right but genetic predisposition is always not the factor for autoimmunity right uh there can be uh, factors like uh, genetic predisposition but this is not always the factor so genetic predisposition along with several other factors uh used to make this autoimmune possible right the genetic predisposition factors mainly there are three things that affects the first is immunoglobulins right the second is t cell receptor and third is major histocompatibility complex that is msc very much familiar msc1 and 2 both see the first two means immunoglobulins and t cell receptor this is quite very clear from uh, the name itself that immunoglobulins what is immunoglobulins it's a proteinaceous weapons that is made uh, in order to fight against the disease or invaders which are you know uh, coming so what what the thing is they they are the proteinaceous weapons that kills the pathogen which is or antigen we can say but there are variety of antigen and there is a theory also for coevolution of antigen and antibody so what we see here is sometimes the recomb this is the result this proteinaceous weapons is the result of uh, n number of recombination which is occurring at genetic level in order to form such proteins right so this thing sometime result in such variants which could kill own cells right so this is a self killing weapons also uh, get designed by uh, the recombination which is occurring and major histocompatibility complex msc we will be seeing later in detail uh, recently it has been found that ptn22 it's a protein nothing just a protein or we can say a factor which is uh responsible for several autoimmune disease autoimmune diseases uh, uh diabetes mellitus type 1 rheumatoid arthritis and sle etc see there there are there were scientists like uh, h mc david g nepon j bell uh, j todd etc right there is a paper also i i would provide the link for that see there is uh, evidence they have suggested that msc class 2 allo types is uh, very strongly related with the autoimmune diseases just see hla dr2 is there what is hla human leukocyte antigen right whenever in question uh, it will be asked that what is the factor which definitely you know which is affecting or which is recognizing the self and non self so without any doubt we have to write hla in the question if it will be asked in the further examination or anything competitive exams or anything so hla is the only factor which uh, uh, differentiates between self and non self so there are three factors hla dr2 hla dr3 and hla dr4 it's not something very uh, complicated just uh, listen to it and try to get it grasp it see hla dr2 is a factor which is strongly positively correlated with systemic lupus erythematosus means sle or multiple sclerosis okay means if hla dr2 will increase then the person will or the patient will suffer from uh, sle right or multiple sclerosis but meanwhile this factor if it is increasing it will 
नेगेटिवली इफेक्ट डायबिटीज मिलाइटिस टाइप वन मीन्स अ गुड न्यूज इफ एच एल ए डी आर टू इज देयर देन द पर्सन कान गेट डायबिटीज ओके अब सी दे इज अनादर थिंग एच एल ए डी आर थ्री इज देयर इट इज रिलेटेड विद जॉर्जन सिंड्रोम मिसेनिया ग्रेवेस एस एल ई एंड डायबिटीज टाइप वन ऑल्सो मीन्स इफ एच एल ए डी आर थ्री विल इंक्रीज दीज ऑल ऑटो इम्यून डिजीजेज विल इंक्रीज मीन देर इज अ चांस टू गेट दीज ऑल थिंग्स राइट थर्ड इज एच एल ए डी आर फोर राइट सो इट इज रिलेटेड विथ रोमेटाइड आर्थराइटिस डायबिटीज टाइप वन एंड दिस वेल गैरिस डिजीज राइट सो दिस इज समथिंग दीज थ्री फैक्टर्स आर इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज इज अ रिसेंट रिसर्च वर्क सो वी शुड नोज दैट एच एल ए डी आर डी आर फैक्टर्स आर देयर विच कुड इफेक्ट दिस डिजीज नाउ यू सी द सेकेंड फैक्टर इज जेंडर राइट gender is a very important factor in the kubi there is the autoimmune the chapter is there autoimmune there we will see this factor uh, that gender is correlated with autoimmunity some of the points are very unclear it's not quite seen so here we can see it's a second most important factor because uh, you see american autoimmune disease related association is there aadra Uh, it's a big association which is working against autoimmune diseases and, and a lot of researches are going on for that so there is uh, there is a research which is found this this uh, table we can see ratio of male uh, and female incidence of autoimmune diseases so see hashimotos diseases there or hashimoto thyroiditis if female uh, male is if uh, um, out of 11 people one is affected right so it will be male and 10 will be female similarly grave uh, graves disease seven will be female then only one will be uh, you know male uh, here i'm sorry if 10 women will be affected then one men will be affected multiple sclerosis is also the same uh, 2 by 1 ratio is there mesthenia gravis also uh, sle sle is very famous for women right every time women gets sle right sle 9 uh, 9 and 1 rheumatoid arthritis 5 is to 2 this ratio is something you know male also get this primary sclero um, sclerosis is there 1 is to 2 here male get more see what is there the autoimmune developed in male is almost 10 times severe than that of women but the predisposition factor for women is more than men means the occurrence chance of occurrence is more in women but if uh, ma- male gets affected with this then the severity of the disease increases right for example we can see uh, um, if we will do research on the rheumatoid arthritis right so just a survey so male affected by rheumatoid arthritis gets more pain than that of uh, than as compared to women now you see about 75% of 23.5 million americans who are suffering from autoimmune diseases are women right so this is the ratio means basic is unclear but yeah women are more if, uh, chance of getting affected is more but severity is more in men the third factor is the environmental factor see epigenetic factors and environmental factors always lies behind every disease right so there is a see there are certain factors like uh, if cigarette smoking is there so uh, the chances of arthritis is more certain chemicals drugs are there that could induce autoimmunity right so indu- induction factors are always there but it's a there is a paradox also right what is the paradox infectious this uh, autoimmune is inversely related with the infectious disease means if we are getting infectious disease the chances of autoimmunity is less just the hy- hygiene hypothesis is also there it's also tells the same thing that if a person is less hy- hygienic the chances of getting autoimmunity is less you see more the covered or protected lifestyle people are having they are more predisposed to other kind of diseases you see these days cancer is very common why because the lifestyle is like that every time we are sitting in the ac or another thing they are working as a induction factor for this autoimmune diseases so these are some of the environmental uh, environmental factors so basically three factors are there genetic factor gender and environmental factor which affects the autoimmunity the rest thing will be covered in next video Uh thanks for your patient listening thank you